Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to have a go at the latest weekly challenge. So this is a time trial at the Pine Hills Raceway again. New configuration though, time trial circuit 4 as you can see. Exploding barrels as always. And we are in the Hammerhead RS again. Right, let's go and make some tuning changes, set this up how how I like it anyway, how it suits me to drive. Obviously everyone's different and there's no real right or wrong, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, here we go. As you can see from my best time off at the top right, I've had quite a few goes of this already. It's found it a tough challenge and I've I've managed to get 43.5 which is a silver trophy I'm really trying to hope today that I can get a time on the time I need for a gold trophy which at, at the moment is 43.186 obviously ideally I'd like to get well under that if possible so that I can I can post a time that's gonna stand the test of time and, and get me a gold trophy come the end of the week that's the plan anyway Right, onto the finishing straight then. That looked like another 43 something, yeah, 43.7, no improvement then, silver trophy. Yeah, that last time's pretty much where I'm where I am and where I'm struggling to uh to improve. Let's have another go. If we have a few goes, hopefully I'll be able to eat this time down. Whoop, bit out of shape here. Ah, tried to cut that too close and hit the bowels. Let's try again. That's a nice tight corner down here. Well, where's those? Where's the right hand bowels gone? <laughs> the right hand bowels are gone bit of a bug there I think there's some sort of reset issue from my previous lap I guess where I exploded the barrels and they've not regenerated oh, I wish I knew that those barrels weren't there I, I made some sort of effort to go around them but uh, if I'd have known I'd have had a perfect straight run through I, it must have gained me some time there let's see what time I'm gonna get am I gonna get my fastest lap because of that I think I am yeah gold trophy in a 43.048 time yeah, really strange that last lap with the the barrels disappearing. I feel a bit bad that uh, that I've sort of cheated really to get a gold trophy time. So let's see if we can get a, a fair one. I mean, I say I feel bad. Uh, trust me, I'm going to take the time. <laughs> but uh, let's see if we can get a, an honest and fair fair one. I've never seen that before. I don't think where the uh, the barrels haven't regenerated. Right, let's see, 43, yeah, I'd really like to get well under 43 seconds if possible. I think I'll need to do that to get a time that's going to hold up for the for the week. This is another good lap, it's close again, that's a similar time, 42.841. I feel a bit better now, I've got a, uh, a, a fair and honest gold trophy, shall we say. Let's see. Let's see if we can do any better. Certainly, seem to have gotten a pretty good run of consistency now, where I can quite regularly. I, I'm in and around the 43 seconds every lap now, either just over or just under, which is not a bad place to be. Got that a little bit wide on there. Got the wheels over the edge, but got it turned in quite well. Again, this doesn't look a bad lap. That was close, I think. 42.980, another gold trophy time. Not quite my fastest. Right, let's have one more go and see if I can, if I can just nip this time down a little bit. Need a nice, tidy, fast lap. 
that first corner is quite neat get it through here as quick as we can don't make any mistakes here try and keep the car under control well, I've cut in there a bit early hit the barrier that's going to cost me a little bit of time still looks quite a fast time though we can get it into this last corner good time again I think 42.620 that's my fastest time for at the moment okay I'm just going to do a replay of my final fastest time then I mean there's the fastest time at the moment is a good two seconds faster than me but hopefully uh, seeing how I do this lap anyway might 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 be helpful for some people right the first trick I say it's a trick it's, it's something that I've not done before is this first right hand hairpin at the end of this straight here is very tight and I spent ages trying to get the line right and I couldn't and in the end I've started using the handbrake which is something that I've not done on challenges before but it seems to work quite well so from the start here I get over to the right try and obviously miss these bells on the left as close as I can then start turning back in on these right hand bells once my front end hits where the front of those bells are I keep accelerating but also use the handbrake to get the back end right round as soon as I'm at this point I sort of release the handbrake and then try and control the turn so it's just a matter of holding that handbrake long enough to turn it in but not too much that you then oversteer obviously here then we're trying to get a straight line through this series of three bowels as possible it's not a bad line I've taken here it's probably a bit wide on the first two sets of bowels but the key thing is you can get a good run out here as close to that set as you can and get the power on sometimes I have to lift a little bit on the accelerator to uh, to make sure I get through there okay okay then down here as fast as possible straight line through here that's automatically going to put us on the left hand side which is where we want to be for this right hand sweeping corner up the hill I want to hit the apex of this right hand corner if possible but there's just that little jump just before you turn in and, and because of that I've just missed the apex but not bad still a still a good corner right just in this dip here that's where I hit the brakes for this right hand corner as we saw from the uh, from when I did the lap I mean it's, it's perfect on the barrels but then I've not got on the power quick enough so I've actually turned in too much really and I've hit the barrier if I'd have got on the power a bit quicker I'd have avoided that and could have got a slightly faster lap as well down the hill then just a matter of keeping control of the car aiming for the center of the barrels here I tend to just turn left as I come through this set because that then gets me on a nicer line for the final set of barrels because then you want to be on the left hand side of this track here for the for the final right hand corner again for this right hand corner I was braking into this to start with I found if you just release the accelerator a couple of times that lets you turn in and gets you a much faster run through that corner and of course just uh, get on that power and through that finish line as fast as you can So that's how I'm doing the laps and I hope that's been some use. There's my fastest time as it stands. Really enjoyable weekly challenge again. I've really enjoyed all these weekly challenges they've done with the different configuration of the Pine Hills Raceway. Also the different uh, conditions with the snow as well. Always good fun as well with the exploding bevels. You've got to learn the different lines. Uh, but I'm, I'm pleased with that time. Hopefully that'll stand the test of the of the week if not i'll uh, have to put in a bit more time see if i can reduce it anyway i hope you've enjoyed watching the video and see you soon